good evening and a warm welcome to part 2 discussion of temporal bone anatomy basics dr smell bell verbal india today we are going to face something which is the most stylish part of the temporal bone some people do not consider it as a part of the temporal bone but yet it is studied along with temporal bone because of most important relations to it it is not nothing other than that about your our styloid process this is a styloid process which is present inferiorly if you take the styloid process as you could see here just like that so this is the glenoid fossa wherein the articulation of the mandible so temporomandibular joint is here at this point at my tip of the ring finger so this is the styloid process which you are able to see and if you see the reddish one it is the carotid artery and the bluish one which is lined inside is the jugular bulb and this is the mastoid bone as you know is a mastoid bone mastoid tip and there you can find a foramen called as stylo mastoid foramen stylo mastoid foramen a foramen for the exit of seventh cranial nerve that is facial nerve as you know the styloid process is a derivative of second branchial arch second branchial arch this is nearly 2.5 cm normally sometimes it can be enlarged as a process of a disease called as eagles syndrome or stylalgia or stylalgia wherein there is increase in the size this can be palpable in the tonsillar fossa if you put a finger at the tonsillar region and palpate it you will be able to feel the styloid process in such a situation if it is very long you have to go for a orthopantomogram and then go for a surgical excision of this elongated styloid process after doing the tonsillectomy of course the length in a normal individual is nearly 2.5 cm as we have seen it is a derivative of second branchial arch so this is hanging towards medially downwards forwards so downwards forwards and medially under the surface of this this petrous temporal bone this particular part is the petrous temporal bone as my as my ring finger tip is pointing out this is the petrous temporal bone this is the styloid process the attachments are very important as you can see if this is the styloid process we can just imagine like you can just easily remember like g is the styloglossus h is the stylohyoid and p is the stylopharyngeus g h and p so if you take the tip of the particular styloid process anteriorly is going to give something called as styloglossus this tip is going to give anteriorly styloglossus and posteriorly it is going to form stylopharyngeus and medially and medially downwards it is a stylohyoid it is just like a chariot with horses and which is having the rope to pull the horse so styloglossus from the anterior aspect stylohyoid from the posterior aspect and stylopharyngeus is going down as it is it is in the from the tip of the styloid process this stylopharyngeus is originating in the medial aspect which is nearly close to the base medial aspect close to the base is at this point this particular tip of my thumb so medial aspect close to the base glossus is near the tip of the tip of the mid, this ring finger glossus near the tip and stylohyoid in the posterior aspect this is stylohyoid origin this is stylohyoid origin which is my thumb is pointing out so there are three muscles as already named g h and p and two ligaments which are very important so first one is the stylohyoid ligament and stylomandibular ligament stylohyoid ligament is from styloid to hyoid bone styloid process to hyoid bone which is the remnant of the second branchial arch skeletal remnant of the second branchial arch and then stylomandibular ligament stylomandibular ligament is the styloid to mandible which is a condensation of the deep lamina of the parotid fascia stylo mandibular so if you think here it is a styloid process inside and here will be till the level of mandible stylo mandibular ligament wherein there is the condensation of deep 
fascia of the parotid fascia which is a part of cervical fascia so as we could see some other attachments like this is a styloid process of the left side and this particular thing is the glenoid fossa glenoid fossa wherein we have got the mandible resting here so anteriorly it is like this and there is a foramen in between the stylo mastoid foram this particular one which is seen here is the stylo mastoid foramen for the exit of the facial nerve stylo mastoid foramen according to this wherever my thumb is showing right now tip of the thumb is showing this is the styloid process and this is the tympanic bone so it is going to form a small sheath towards the tympanic bone and if you take it directly immediately and just in between these two is the as you know styloid mastoid foramen so facial nerve is very nearer to this the tip of the thumb this is the styloid process this is the glenoid fossa and this is the tympanic tympanic bone in front in front of my thumb and this is the stylomastoid foramen as we could see the reflow of this pen this is the exit point of the facial nerve that is the stylomastoid foramen outside and accordingly if you see you can just remember that spm styloid process is medial to the facial nerve the facial nerve is lateral to the styloid process styloid process is medial to the facial nerve which is coming from the stylomastoid foramen so styloid process is even medial to the stylo mastoid foramen styloid process is medial styloid process is medial to facial nerve and facial nerve is lateral to the styloid process easy to remember and now the refill is placed in the carotid wherever the carotid is exiting carotid canal so which is seemingly medial to the styloid process so styloid process is medial to the facial nerve which was here and this is the styloid process so facial nerve styloid process and this is the carotid canal and if you place the refill within the jugular bulb jugular fossa jugular bulb also is medial to the styloid process so carotid canal was medial jugular bulb was medial whereas facial nerve was lateral so this styloid process runs in between these two and if we try to try to take the external carotid artery external carotid artery lies at the tip of the styloid process tip of the styloid process external carotid artery lies at the tip of the styloid process and it is covered by parotid gland parotid gland as you could see in this particular thing if you take the parotid gland if it is something nearer to this at this point will be the parotid gland at this point will be the these two are the lobes of the parotid gland that is this is my index finger and my middle finger will be the lobes of the parotid gland so this styloid process is medial to the parotid gland medial to the facial nerve lateral to the carotid artery and jugular bulb so as we could see this stylomastoid foramen which is exit for the facial nerve and stylomastoid branch of the posterior auricular artery facial nerve and stylomastoid branch of the posterior auricular artery this is the stylomastoid foramen for facial nerve and stylomastoid artery of the posterior auricular artery so this is the digastric ridge that is present over here so groove for the attachment for the sternocleidomastoid is over here as we could see this is the opening of the carotid canal this is the opening of the jugular bulb this is the styloid process and this is the opening of the facial now opening for the facial now stylomastoid foramen and this is the tip of the mastoid and this is the external auditory canal as you could see the external auditory canal blue color and this is the sheath that is extending from styloid to the tympanic bone and this is the glenoid fossa and this could be the this is the tympanic ring tympanic ring that is there and this is the spine of henle and this will be the mckeevans triangle in this region and this is the zygoma that is present this is the squama this is the zygoma and this is the mastoid and it is the petrous part and it is the internal artery canal as you could see and this is the blue color is the blue color is the sigmoid sinus region we'll be discussing those things in the particular sections so this completes the discussion on styloid process thank you very much for following smell bell verbal circle circle surgical interesting discussion videos on ent and head and neck like like like